Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Mrs. S. Today we're going to be creating part of the solar eclipse art and to do that we're going to start with our black paper and a white colored pencil. The first thing I'm going to do is just make sure I write my name on my paper somewhere. So I'm just going to write Mrs. Pronger and I can write it on the front or the back. It really doesn't matter as long as it's somewhere on your paper. I'm going to keep using that colored pencil and take one of my lids. This plastic lid is just a circle shape and this is just a cottage cheese lid and I can put it anywhere on my paper. It could be towards the center, you can do it towards the top, you can have half of it coming off the side. I'm just going to do mine kind of in the middle. I'm going to hold it still and take my colored pencil and get that nice circular shape all the way around. And to keep this on here, to keep that black from smudging where that moon shadow would be cast across, I'm going to keep that circle on there, that lid, and hold it with one hand. And with my other hand, I'd like you to take either white or yellow or both. And you're going to take that oil pastel and you're going to start taking that oil pastel all the way from the lid. I'm going to go out towards the outside of my paper and get it as close as you can. I can always go back and kind of fix it up. And you can kind of turn it and make it cast out a little more all the way around just like you would normally draw a sun keeping those rays really close together so when i go to blend these it has a really nice effect all the way out like a sunburst or a sun ray and you can kind of see here these are a little too far apart so i'd either want to come in with another color or go back again with my white and you can kind of go like you're coloring as long as you keep it in the direction going from the center of your circle all the way out to the outside of your paper you'll be in good shape and some people were asking can i use my colored pencil for this too a little bit but you'll want some of that oil pastel so you can really blend it now there's two ways to get that ray to kind of go outward you can take your finger and you can push and swipe out to the outside of your paper just like we did with your coloring but after a while, that's really going to hurt your finger. So if you take a little paper towel, kind of wad it up, and then use your finger, then you can get those sunburst, those rays outwards. If I remove this lid, you can see that I need to get a little closer to that circle. And then if I don't put enough color, it's not going to be dark enough or bold enough. So I'll be coming back through with another color. I'm going to swipe it out all the way to the outside and I'd want to do that all the way around. I leave that lid there for as long as I can so that I'm not getting smudge marks because if you've ever used oil pastel before you'll know that it gets all over your hands, all over the table, all of your artwork. So I'm going to try to keep that black circle as black as I possibly can. And this paper towel is really nice because I can press pretty hard and not hurt my hands. So I have my white and you can see that little eclipse kind of effect starting to form in my artwork and I can go back with other colors. Um, you can go back and add other planets. You can add stars. You can add in like little solar flares or aliens, whatever you'd like to add a little extra to your art. So I can layer. Some people say, oh, I messed up and you'll want to keep adding or just go back over top. It'll layer it and it'll cover up any of those little accidents. 